Welcome to the Don't Call Me White Girl Show. Woo woo. My titties are out. It's 2023 and I got a bang. There's my camera. It's definitely cleavage out in the building right now. And daddy loves my outfit. Don't I look good, Phelps? You look great today. Thank you, babe. So do you. Happy New Year, Phelps. Happy New Year to you. Happy New Year, Everybody. Dre. Happy New Year. Happy New Year, Gary. Gary's hair crowned by red and he cut my hair. And I must say. Thank you, Gary. I hated every minute of it. You know how your ends get raggedy, but your hair feel long? All my fellow black girls know, you know, you get that little hair on your arm, you get to feeling a little, look, watch. <laughs> you see that thing like that? <laughs> my shit was like here. And he cut For that real? bitch. It was that long? It was like exaggerated a bit, but <laughs> it was a little see-through. Right, right. You know bottom. what I mean? Yeah. And I don't know if you know, Phelps, but if your hair is like that, it'll shred up. Like it goes up mm. instead of down. Okay. So you got to get it up out of there. Yeah. It looks good, though. Because if you cut it, Dre, Dre only likes my hair when I wear my <laughs> real hair. When I wear <laughs> wigs, he, he looks like he smells poop. Like he'll be like, oh, hey, Demona. <laughs> but if I have my real hair on and I actually smell like poop, he'll still be like, you look great, Demona, because he likes natural hair. You know? Um, How was your new year, bitches? Did you have a good time? Mm? Mm. Just chilling. The day was good, but my apartment flooded. So, Ooh. oh my god, did you see it? No. Oh my god, you have to see it right now. It was amazing. It's like the Titanic. Amazing. It was literally like, <laughs> it was like the worst flood I've ever seen in my life. And I was really like, you know, how somebody send you something and it's actually really bad, so it's like you don't know what to say. That's how it was. Look at this. It was horrible. Like it was actually horrible. Wait, when you open the door. Yeah. <laughs> oh nah. It was horrible. Yeah. And so that was New Year's Day? No, that Eve? was that was like a few days before that. So we're living luckily the apartment building had a furnished apartment in the building, so at least we still in the building. Yeah. But all of our like I took all the valuable stuff. I should have threw something in the water, like threw some stuff in there. Sure you did. Nigga, you did. <laughs> I had to save all this stuff. I couldn't afford to be Wait waiting for, for the insurance yeah, check true. to get any of this stuff, but, but they had to redo yeah, floors, to carpet. No like, you got your receipt, baby. <laughs> I'll talk to you later. All right, all right. Um, so yeah, everybody pray for Dre. And yeah, we're gonna get you on if you want to donate to him getting a canoe so he can go back in his closet <laughs> and get his stuff, we appreciate it. Um, Phelps called me on New Year's Eve and was like. I love you, bro. Like, if it get too late, I got to tell you now, I love you. It was like 8 o'clock. He was fucked up. And I was like, I love you too. I chopped my hair off. And he was like, bitch, no, you did. FaceTime was like, yeah, you better not cut my hair off. I was like, mm -hmm. I called you at like 11.30 and you said, Phelps, I'm going to call you back. And then when I went to call you back, you didn't pick up. I love you. My phone died. I had a good time. Did you have a good time? Yeah, it was chilling. I was relaxed. I didn't do nothing. Did you stay in the state? Yeah, yeah, I just chilled with some friends. We just ate. Did you live with Quadi? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Quadi was with us. Yeah. We love Quadi the mostest. Um, no, I was not with Quadi. I'm high. I'm lying. I was okay. not with Quadi. I was you no. You know I what though? I wasn't with him New Year's Eve. I was with him New Year's Day. That's why I was fucking my head we up. Don't fucking know what happened these last couple of days. We get fucked up. I was family. with Quadi and Juice on New Year's Day. Okay, boom. So, also, you went to that lounge. I won't say the name of it because we don't do no free promo. Yeah, fuck them, though, because they ain't giving me my food. That's a nigga lounge. I don't want to I like you gotta the way go the food looks, but I don't want to deal with all that nigga stuff. I've been there. The food is good, so I can only fuck with it when it's not an event. Right. Event, nah. Then I'm they not. turn into nigga shit. I ain't with it. They I just want to eat. They forgot about my food. What'd they you literally order? never gave it to you? No. Nah, did, did you pay for it? No. Nah. what you order? Uh, fish, mac and cheese, greens. That's her. Two hours. Damn. Yeah, yeah, forgot about the kid. I know you was pissed. He don't take kindly and no, shit like that. Um, first of all, I have to straight some things up with you bitches. Make the style in your comments. You took them all the way wrong. One thing I'm going to say for sure is when I say about she's not the kind of girl that people protect, I'm not the kind of girl people protect either from my own ways i'm not like me and meg tell you don't really have much in common um but it's the whole thing of a strong woman not needing any help okay that's the thing 
I've been through things in my life. I don't feel like people ran to my rescue. Even if I was going through shit with men, people left it to me to handle on my own, even though I did handle my own kind of well. But I wasn't saying it like that was the right thing. I was saying like, that's what it, that's is. What it is. And some of the stuff, if they would have put it out, like her rehab and her foot or whatever, to make the people feel for her more than maybe so. But of course it's wrong to be shot in your fucking foot. Sidebar. One girl wrote me and was like, you know how you were saying, you you wonder what he ate that night. and what It's like, bitch, he's found guilty. He's about to do his time, right? Mm-hmm. What do we want him to get the death penalty? Like, that's what I'm saying. You bitches don't have any room for redemption. That's the mm-hmm. part that irritates me. He's in jail. This is America. How do we handle shit in America? You go through the court system, you go to jail, you do your time. So I can't have a feeling for him if he's eating. Like, what mm-hmm. the fuck? Not to mention, if I'm fans for both of them, you know, like, because yeah. the honest, flat out truth is, when you go compare to music wise, I'm a Tory fan. So, if my connection is with Tory, then even if he fucked up and that's wrong, you're a piece of shit. I yeah. still want you to have a, a, like, it's just, y'all make me sick. I have been a jailbird. I've made mistakes. People have gave me grace and redemption. God forbid if people treated me like how y'all want to treat people. Y'all want people just to do off with the person, I, kill him, and throw yeah. his body in the river. Fuck y'all. I think people are just real serious, too, because it's a gun involved, and they just not understanding. It's like, he didn't, like, try no. to kill her, y'all. You feel me? No, I'm not taking All no right. sides. I'm saying that's, I feel like that's one of the things where, why people are so driven behind it because it was, it's a, a gun involved. You know what I mean? Because even when- A gun um, involved and he's already a man. Yeah. So you're already stronger than me. You could have beat me up because you use a gun. And because it's a lot of times, even when, with the domestic violence things, um, that have hit hit the news that somebody famous women don't always just jump to the women's defense in that case. But I feel like with the gun, it's just like automatic. Yeah, I don't know. At the end of the day, it's fucking terrible. It's wrong, you know. But I'm wrong if I say with a nigga four eleven. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's like I, I can't say stuff like that. But it's wrong. It's wrong. It's wrong. It's common sense that it's wrong. I never was saying that she deserved it or no shit like that. Come on, my woman. I'm not that type of bitch. I'm not a pick me anyway. Don't get my shit twisted like that, bitches. Um, it's a TikTok challenge out right now. People have been talking about it. It's been going crazy viral. Angela Bass's son just did it. The challenge is you pull your camera out, mm. you hold it sneakily, and you'll say, like, um, you'll say, um, Megan Good just died. And you try to catch. Oh, <laughs> I seen. Okay, yeah. I didn't see that And challenge. you get their reaction. Angela Bassett's son did it about Michael B. Jordan. Angela Bassett really looked upset, ran up to the camera. No, no, no. Snatching the phone out of his hand. Can y'all just not to do that with Don't Call Me White Girl? I'm That's big whack. on tongue stuff. So if y'all, what if like 10 of y'all do that once I get hit by a train? Yeah, don't do that. Please don't do it. Not to me. Did he Somebody do it on else. live or something like that? Who, Angela Bassett's son? Yeah. I don't know. It don't matter if it's posted. Because I feel like after seeing her reaction, he could have just, should have just been like, I ain't going to post that. But the fact oh, that he's right, because she did not. You saw it? Yeah. She looked really scared. You're going to give somebody a heart attack doing that. Especially your mom, Angela Bassett. You don't need clout. You're going to give somebody a heart attack. Man. It sucks. I don't know. I've seen a lot of people do it. I mean, I guess it's funny. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I just, it's not funny. It's just a little like, and, I'm, and the power of the tongue is a real deal thing. Um, and then speaking of that, we have two real deaths. Barbara Walters died. R.I.P. my nigga Barb. Made it all the way to the non tray. Respect it. Uh, all dogs go to heaven. Uh, rest in peace, my nigga. Big Scar too. Big Scar, rest in peace, Big Scar, and Gangsta and Boo, Gangsta. bro. That's two Memphis people. That's crazy. Gangsta Boo died from a fentanyl overdose. Now let's get into it. It's New Year's. People like to get fucked up for New Year's. I feel like if a person wants to go out and buy cocaine, Adderall. Percocet, Xanax. Why you can't just sell them the regular shit? Why you got to put this shit on this shit? Like, God damn. I mean, I know most people be out saying things like, you should stay away from drugs, but realistically, people are not going to stay away from drugs, but a motherfucker know how many Xanax they can eat. You don't know how many fentanyl pills you can. I don't understand why people sell that shit, and I don't know what the goal is when, like, half your clientele might check, bro. Um, I think I said to assume a person like Gangsta Boot, She's not buying a fentanyl pill. She thinking she's mm-hmm. buying something else. It's been fentanyl, ecstasy, Adderall. Adderall. That makes zero sense. I don't know. I'm a real bitch, and I'd rather keep it real with y'all. All y'all that want to test drugs, want to know how I feel, want to try something out. 
it's really a dangerous time to do that shit because yeah. it's so many fake plated drugs and some of them look identical. These niggas are practicing how to make the how to make it right, how to make the groove right, the letter right, the shape right, the the smoothest right, and it's hard to tell. And if you're not a person that do drugs on a regular basis, you won't be able to tell. So my advice is. Call your cousin to be getting high all the time. <laughs> like, call that crackhead cousin and get that bitch to buy it for you. Word. And you have to pay her if she going to steal one of them or whatever you get. But seriously, I don't care what kind of drug you in. My nigga fool. Y'all remember my nigga fool, the comedian? The whole house died except for one of them. They snorting cocaine, yeah. fentanyl and that shit. Yeah. My nigga did not fuck with no fentanyl. He was more, you know, play a little book of sugar, not fentanyl. And the people that don't do drugs at all are like, oh, that's what you get. No, uh -huh. you should be feel safer with the fuck you buying. If you buying off the street, if you buying it off a deal or you can trust or whatever. But listen, I'm telling y'all, it's been found in weed. Is in everything. Cough medicine is in everything. You have to be careful. Fentanyl is dangerous. Fentanyl will kill you. First pill, you will die off that shit. You have to be the fuck careful. And if you don't know what you're doing, humble yourself and ask a local junkie. I always wondered that, though. I was talking to Bree about that the other day. Because she asked me about shrooms, like, would I ever do that? But I was just wondering, like, if you, have, if you have illegal drugs, and let's say I want to try cocaine, right? Mm -hmm. And I want to make sure uh -oh. I get some good stuff without, I don't want to get effed up or right. be out. Where do you go to know, me. like, where do you go I to I mean, buy? This, is, this is a great, this is a great <laughs> conversation. Daddy, and you know what? <laughs> I'm glad you mentioned shrooms because perfect example, shrooms are old as shit. Shrooms, mm -hmm. shrooms have been something popular, I think, in like white culture or some adverse cultures or whatever. Hippie but culture. shrooms has hit the nigga, nigga shit. Twitter, Instagram and all that. And everybody's trying them. And some people I know, little ghetto girls, and I'm thinking... Girl, that's probably regular mushrooms with roach spray because these bitches don't know what the fuck they looking for. But yeah. shrooms is a great thing to talk about because that's something that's getting real, real popular with us. And it's like, you know, how do you do it safely? Honestly, Dre, on some real shit. If you want to do coke or whatever drug you want to do, you do the motherfucker. You hit the person that you think does that. And if yeah. you literally have nobody in your life that does that, don't. I wouldn't do it. Mm -hmm. I feel like you, so I don't do this or want to do this, but I feel like I always thought in my head if I wanted to, I would hit the people who like got money and also got something to lose because I feel like those are the people that's actually doing the right, the stuff that the ain't going like right mess stuff. them up. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. a politician or something like that. Like the, the joint, they probably doing... And, you yeah, know, it's no, straight, the, you know what you, I mean? the thing is, you gotta trust they circle. But to be honest with you, when it comes to that drug shit, the people that you may in your head think you look like you want to avoid, them really the people them the that ones. you need. Yeah, them the they ones. gonna have you straight and narrow. Cause that motherfucker, you ain't even gotta go get it. He gonna go get it for you. Cause you don't really want to be in the mix of that. It's yeah. so many things that can happen. You go there the wrong day, they get into some shit. It's a shootout. You go there the wrong day, the police there. I mean, I know it sounds extreme, but it really happens. It's people that died that first day they went to go try to buy some shit. Because if you're not used to being in those type of environments, you don't even know what it looked like to get away. You might hand a motherfucker your money. He said, hold on, I'll be right back. Certain shit can happen right there that means fuck the money, I'm out. And you mm -hmm. might not know that. I just gave this nigga $100, you know. At the end of the day, I remember being young, like 16. And because um, in Philadelphia, just like New York City, those corners are ran like an operation. Mm -hmm. So one motherfucker grabbed the money, other motherfucker yep. gave you the weed, somebody else directing you. And they aggressive. What the fuck? Move out the way. Handle this, whatever. And I can recall going out there and being like, what the fuck? But I just tried to pretend like I knew what was going on. And I remember sitting with my girlfriends out there and they wouldn't even serve her because she just looked stupid. And they like, nope, get the fuck out of here. You know what I mean? So it's like, you know, and then it's like, this is a different time than it's ever been. This fentanyl and people using it and masking it, as, it's never been like that. Yeah. You know what I mean? So... Like, now more than ever do you need to be safe if that's what, something that you want to do. Like, flat out, you can't risk it now. And I don't even know people that have bought their own drug tests and test their own shit. Because it's like, how the fuck, fuck do you know? Yeah. You know what I mean? So, I don't know. I, I like to keep it real with y'all. I know how niggas are. I know how people are. I know it's a lot of young girls, young people listen to me. And I know it's a lot of old motherfuckers ain't never did drugs. And for some reason, you want to do them. <laughs> uh, um, whatever the case may be, you need to find a vet. Somebody is used to that lane 
And if you're talking about buying prescription drugs, drugs that are prescribed to somebody, it's best for you to get something from somebody that got it from a pharmacy. And it's mm-hmm. easy ways to figure out they got it from the pharmacy. They have a bottle with an up-to-date date on it. They might have paperwork from their doctor or something like that. But if you're buying, you know, let's say Xanax or Percocet or whatever off somebody and they look like dusty out the stick of pocket, he might didn't get them out of pill bottle. Yeah. You know what I mean? So... Um, y'all just need to stay focused and shit. You got good health insurance, just ask your doctor, he'll give it to you. They don't give a fuck about us. <laughs> Fentanyl is a downer, it's an opiate, it's used in the hospital a lot. Like they'll use it when they're trying to put you down for surgery. Mm-hmm. It's super strong, but it has to be it has to be observed by a doctor. It's so strong. It's like the strongest person says at the top, top, top. And um like, it used to be popular fentanyl patches. They would give you that for pain. And people started taking them off their bodies and chewing them. Motherfuckers would have them on a nurse home because a fentanyl patch would last two, three days for th- to manage your pain. It would be nurses peeling them off their back, chewing them. Because people get addicted to it. You know what I mean? It's super addictive and it's super strong and it's super potent. And it's not something they would prescribe in a pill to a regular person. You know what I mean? It's like, you got cancer. You really fucked up, you know, and they'll give you patches or whatever. But in the hospital, they do give it out. But this new wave of, like, people shooting it and being so addicted to it is just, it's the next step after that overprescription of opioids. Now, what do I mean by overprescription? I mean, in the 90s, these people would make so much. They would, they had these people that would go around to health, health insurance. They would come from the health insurance or wherever, but they would go to different doctor's office trying to pitch this new drug they mm-hmm. got to make money. And the drug was Oxycontin. And they saw how good it was and how you could still work with your back pain, da, 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 but they are pressuring people to give it out. So then you get this wave of people for 10, 15 years just giving it to everybody, teenagers, grown-ups, you're making up lies. Then it's me talking about pill mills where some doctors were greedy where you could come pay two, three hundred dollars get 100 pills of each, each month parking lot be booming like a real drug spot you know um and then people got addicted to it and then people in the suburbs got addicted to it so now it's an epidemic Mm -hmm. so be that white people are suffering now it's an epidemic now it might be hard for your grandmother to get it who needs it you know that's just how things are but that is a problem that was created out of greed period and nobody went to jail for it they lied to those people. They never told, they never explained how addictive that stuff is to people. You know, most people that are on heroin will tell you, I broke my leg and then I took the medicine and they took me off the medicine and I was so, I felt mm-hmm. so bad that I just went out and found what I could and I ended up doing heroin. That is like 80% of the story and still none of the white people went to jail. So, <laughs> welcome to America. <laughs> Next. Oh, and I told y'all this before. I'm going to tell y'all again. You know what? Mark my words. The next drug is going to be epidemic. It's going to be Adderall because they overprescribe Adderall and Ritalin. So that's next. You just gave your son a Ritalin and shut the fuck up, <laughs> didn't you? No shame. No shame in your game. No. That's, listen, no hyper ass kids were hurt during the tape and the film of this podcast. If you had to get your baby Adderall Ritalin, that's on you. <laughs> you know, no judgment here. Adderall and Ritalin is so popular because you can get a lot of stuff done and you'll lose weight. So like a college girl, that's perfect. Or a college boy is an athlete. You want to stop eating honey buns? That's good. Um, But yeah, R.I.P. Gangsta Boo. I hope I'm not incorrect, but that's the last reports that I read that she died from a fentanyl overdose. She was a real bitch. Uh, I, I'm assuming she bought something that had something in it. And it's so crazy because I always think about it. Do you get your people phone and look and see who bought that off of? Do you chase that nigga? Do you call him? Do you call the police on him? What do y'all do? Because I guarantee you, baby, if you smoke a blunt, you pass out and look through that phone. I found out Moose mm-hmm. sold that weed. I'm mm-hmm. busting it. That nigga. I'm good, Jen. I wow. that. I'm serious. I mean, wouldn't that make you want to like go through the phone and see who he talks to? Yeah. Where did he get that shit from? Do people really do that? I don't know. Phone. It was a it was a, a YouTuber that was famous. He was a um comedian. He started, Do you want a burger? Get a burger. Do you want some French fries? If you don't remember, you don't remember it. He sold fake perks. Him and his girl were fentanyl in. Him and his girl, so fake versus his white girl, she dies. They look through the phone, find his name. His name is the same thing as the Instagram name. They call him, set the deal up. Him and his girl pull up with like $4,000 and fentanyl pills. He got 12 years. His Instagram's still up with 2 million followers. Mm. But he's black and she's white, so. Yeah. Um, do y'all know what swatting is? Yeah. 
We tell them, tell them what it is, folks. Just tell them. Because um, I didn't know how to say it the way you said it with the game part. Oh, well, that's how it started with, like, uh, kids on the video games. Like, you know, they niggas be on the headset talking shit to each other and... You mean the white boys that say nigger all the time? That's mm-hmm. all I ever really hear. You fucking nigger. You yeah. running the wall, and nigger. I was telling Dre that a lot of them are, like, computer wizards. You feel me? They could hack They could hack into your um, your IEP, IEP, your IP address mm-hmm. um, and find out where you live. And what they'll do is they'll be like talking shit and they'll be like motherfucker I find out where you live and the nigga be like oh no and next thing you know they be done called the police told them some crazy shit to where they send wow, the SWAT shit. team in and they be a lot of times like you said they do it while they on the headset so they can see it witness it whatever right right and the thing about it is it's called swatting because the goal is the SWAT team the goal is like some special not just a, the nah, police yeah, checking they, it out they want them to SWAT. come deep so mm-hmm. they sell all type of shit and you say I think they call him the most hated, hated man in the world. But Andrew Tate just got arrested um, for like sexual trafficking, and yeah. that's what it is. They swatted him. They told that he had women locked up in his house. They couldn't get out. And they've been locked up there for months, and um, they ran in his house, locked him up. The newscasters all out there. It's really a thing. With me, I think about it because I'm famous. You know what I mean? People play games like that. And it's so fucking dangerous because cops are so fucking trigger happy and mm-hmm. they're not trained well. And somebody did die from swatting mm-hmm. um, where they ran out, they ran up on them and they just, you know, they shot the guy or the guy moved too fast or mm-hmm. whatever. But I watched that commit you on and I still figure, well, this is so old, I probably won't see this again. There's another documentary I need y'all to watch with me. Everybody in this room, I need you to watch. I'm going to give you the premise. Somebody would call a fast food restaurant, right? And ask to meet the manager, and they'll say, Hey, um, a customer in there was just robbed. Her purse was just stolen by one of your employees. I need you to get the brown hair girl in the back and search her. This guy sounds like a cop would convince the guy to search this girl and fondle her sometimes. It's been done over a hundred times. Isn't that crazy? You seen that documentary? Oh my God. That's crazy. It sounds, doesn't that, I, that's how I was. Now, see, Dre, thank you. That's how I was. That makes no sense, right? The documentary that I watched, they end up finding the guy, taking him to trial, didn't have enough to, the, to convict him, and, they, and he had to let him go. I had got to hear these phone calls because what could somebody say that's going to convince me first that they are anybody of authority and that's going to get me to go and search and fondle somebody? The one guy at the end, because he tells her to do all this stuff, he ends up saying, no, make her put your penis in your mouth. He went to jail, though. She, He ended up getting fellatio from this girl. Mind you, we talking about 17-year-old girls. We talking about kids. So I understand the employee doing it, but what the fuck is wrong with the manager? And I feel like for, dude, I'm talking small town, dippy Gotta motherfuckers, kind of, you know. not and, the, and That's what I'm saying. I, I, when you said fast food restaurant, and then when Dre said, well, why are they? I was like. Dumb. He was smart enough to know who to target the, 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 exactly. to be able to manipulate that but, shit. But let's say, Dre, any of y'all, you fell for the initial walk in. When he says, now put your finger in her vagina, yeah, you know to stop. You should know. So in my dumb. opinion, those people, because a lot of those managers went to jail. Some of them went to jail for just following the directions that it didn't necessarily get too crazy, but the guy with the the fellatio went to jail, whatever. Mind you, the dude with the fellatio, his wife was the manager. And she's like, I can't do this, and gets the husband to come in. But my thing is, you had to be some kind of freak to do that. You know what I'm saying? Because how the fuck does that make any sense? It don't. It's the same thing with the Donald Trump. He pushed straight all the people. True, true, but that's for, I feel like I I understand an employee's way, but as far as the manager, bitch, you're the authority here, because my thing is, yo, you got to come search her yourself, I keep her in the back, you come get her. Yeah, like you said, they had to choose the right people because that right. just don't make no sense at all. All of them got them to do jumping jacks. Make Now that she's <laughs> naked, make her do jumping jacks. What? And they would do jumping jacks. He they could hear it. this was the police? He would say he was a detective. What do you think? That's something going to drop out? when I tell you it's happened 50 times. Ju- do jumping 50 jacks? 50 fucking times. Something's going to fall insane. out. Yeah. All girls. All young girls. No cat. And it's McDonald's too. Like, no shade, but... 
I ain't getting undressed for a minimum wage. Like yeah. making as far as the employees, like yeah, no, like, I'm not doing it. I will walk out after this. It was girls that literally were still in therapy <laughs> ten years later. This one girl was like, it just made me question myself of being so gullible. But it's like, yo, you 17. I don't really think you that dumb yeah, to get fault. in that position. That's not your fault. Like you really, you really don't know. But it's like. Yo, that's why I talk to my kids. I'm so open with my kids. Like, my kids know everything. I know a lot of people were like, oh, you should put, man, fuck that. They ain't going to fall for no dippy shit. You know what I mean? Like, I tell them, you know, like, I tell them you know, things like, if somebody tries to kidnap you, right, you might as well fight them as much as you can right there. Like, bite them, scream, piss shit, flip out, punch, mm-hmm. whatever. Because when he gets you somewhere, he's going to rape you and kill you. That's what I, tell them. I, mean, I don't know if that's scary, but that's true. Yeah. You know what I mean? He's it's not going to get you thing. nowhere and call and say, mommy, you, or you, it's a ransom, like a movie. He going to rape you and get rid of your body so he can go about, no, about his business. So you might as well fight to the death as soon as he touch you. Yeah. And she's like, but fuck it, we know what's up. You know? What's the other option? You be, oh, you you know what I mean? But you pussyfooting, it's so sick out here now. Mm-hmm. You got to get these motherfuckers ready. I remember my daughter was five. I had a stepdaughter. She was five. And somebody on SoundCloud, like, FaceTime them with this penis oh, out. Told me, yeah. Insane. Grown man knew he was talking to five year olds. Cause SoundCloud had turned into a um. So he's just Snapchat. You keep saying SoundCloud. Can't no, babe, it was not Snapchat or SoundCloud. You know what it was? Tango. Tango. I was about to say, I ain't know you. I'm sorry. Like SoundCloud. SoundCloud. I'm sorry, everybody. <laughs> it was back when if you didn't have iPhone, you couldn't FaceTime. So you would get mm-hmm. Tango to do it. And then when more phones got FaceTime, Tango kind of turned into like a Snapchatty kind of thing. Mm-hmm. So you could upload pictures, you know. And I it never crossed to me that random people could add you. And I call him back, shirt up. He, Ready for this five year old to be FaceTime and it's me. I went the fuck off. He just hung up on me. If I could do it over, I would have reported his page and then. But these motherfuckers be freaky. They don't give a fuck. That's crazy though when you think about it. And it's like, who's the most easiest person to get? A kid. Mm-hmm. So you got to arm your kid with shit. I'm the same one that sat on this podcast and said that I was towards Smush if they shoot the school up. And it's a dead kid on the ground, lay under him with white blood on your face. And y'all talked about me. And then a kid the did article it. article came out and it went viral. Girl. She did it, and it went viral. Demona said it first. Boom! So it's about survival for sure. Checking my database. I'm more to dark side of the DM. Moving right along. And I don't appreciate you looking up, y'all looking up that um six eight baddie. I didn't six, ask five. y'all to do that. Whatever. Huge. <laughs> I didn't appreciate that. So many people looked that girl up. She gotta change her whole fucking bio now. God damn. Did people find her? Yeah. When you bad when your DMs when your shit says such and such baddie, it's kinda easy. You know what I mean? Mm. Shit. Hold on, y'all, because I got a lot of DMs. I, I be telling myself that I'm going to look out and really answer more than one person. Wait a minute. I wanted to know what y'all thought about um, Master P and Romeo. That's kind of old now. But what did y'all think? Master P came out and said his dad don't give him no money. Romeo Master said P? that? Romeo, yeah, Romeo came out and said he's never been paid for rap snacks. He's never been paid for nothing. Oh damn! I believed real? it. I always believe shit like that. Bro, Why are you gonna lie? For I what? feel sad in those situations. I just hope that they come to yeah. A, that's like to a like resolution with both of them because that's family business and it's it sucks because I feel like on the parent side they could be so blind. Especially Master P was who he was already, and he probably looks at everything Romeo probably even got was because of him and mm-hmm. everything that he did everything all the work that he put in mm-hmm. so he probably even feel like what you was making from that you wouldn't have had it without me and that's not the right mindset because that's his own individual but i feel like sometimes when you have a certain generation they have a certain mentality and i just hope that they can just come to a resolution and you know that's father and son you only got one one dad and yeah. you know i hope they just work it out but it's sad that they're going through yeah, that's kind of weird i mean Romeo, 30-something years old, you know? And it's like, 
it makes you think like, well, are you not satisfied with where you at as a 30 year old? And now you looking back on, cause you would do that. You know what I mean? At the same time, what the fuck is the point of making your kids work? If you're not going to set up exactly. some money for them to go get it. You put yeah, me all the way out saying. there as doing I agree. this, 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 this. He didn't this. have no, you think he had a choice to do that exactly. shit? Exactly. And they get crushed by Bow Wow over and over. Cause nobody <laughs> fucking like Romeo. Bow Wow won every time. It's like, Romeo, get the fuck out of here. Your head being too big. I used to watch the little Romeo show. No, no, no. <laughs> Lil Bow Wow won. Then when he did Just Like Mike, it was over. Oh, Like Mike? It like was Mike over. Was That's movie, it. Boy. Nobody fucking, yeah. nobody checking for Romeo. Now you got a bag of chips out. I don't want them. <laughs> even Bow Wow got a rap snack. Yeah, Do it. Man, yeah, shit. I'm pretty sure. Don't Bow Wow got a flavor? Bow Wow was that nigga, though. I think they both, no, I think they both Bow Wow was back in the day. Bow His Bow dad even gave Bow Wow flavor. Now people know Romeo for, what's the, what's the school called? I see DC. Man. I mean, it's just kind of like, like she said, is like his dad put him in that position, f- you know, for what reason? Like, yeah, you know what I mean? It, yeah. It's just sad overall. Uh, Especially if Master P is this master businessman and he done did all of this and had all of this. It's like, I just always think about what point it had to reach to where this now becomes a discussion a on social the public media forum. Thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I, how this bad is how it, it started. Let me tell you how it started. Master P's child and Romeo's sister committed suicide. Mm. Yeah. And Master P made a post about who just committed suicide recently. Oh, yeah. I forgot. Twitch. Twitch. Yeah. That's sad, too. We didn't talk about that, but yeah. Twitch. Um, Ellen's DJ. Mm. So Romeo was irked by it. Like, you ignore my sister and her issues. I think she had mental health issues and drug issues. And you gonna speak on about another nigga, and then he just oh. took the advantage, and you know, and his feelings. That's the thing. It's like, yo, I may not do it. I don't know. I have done it. I have totally went at somebody in my family online before. I have. So when people, when I see people do it, I don't look at them strangely. I look at you strangely when you get irritated when they ask what happened, or where's it at now, or mind your business. That's weird. Um, now. After doing it so many times, it doesn't really do anything. It doesn't make you feel better. It mm-hmm. just puts everybody in your business. And, and most times, more than none, people give you an opinion that you don't want to hear. Yep. <laughs> you be on this, you know, this high horse talking all this shit, and then you get 50 DMs of people telling you, you're wrong. You shouldn't say that about your father. Mm-hmm. You know, so it's like, it's a waste of time. Um, unless you really care what all your peers think, what everybody around you think, and most people, we don't. I'm not a fan of no shit like that. However, it's like, in the moment, he... He probably, like, the thing is, <laughs> we don't really know their relationship like that. So for him to come at his dad like that publicly and say the nigga not paying him, he might not talk to him like how we may assume. Mm-hmm. They might not That's have that relationship. True. So he might have been like, well, nigga, you act weird. You don't give me no bread. You, I'm going to put you out. Like, motherfuckers will just get to their they, they breaking point. Mm-hmm. That's why I say at the end of the day, I just want people to figure stuff out. Like, just, you know, in the family. Because you don't know the dynamics of that mm-hmm. relationship everything that's happened over years, every conversation that's happened, like, nobody knows and, that. And, too, I, like, when you get grown and you start to, like, really learn who your parents is, you yeah. know, it ain't that same thing when you was, like, a You're kid. Right. You, like, oh, this is what the other <laughs> one was talking about about you. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Like, you learn that shit. So if he getting grown and he really starting to see, like, all right, shit the motherfucker was saying about my dad or whatever i'm starting to see it like and it's affecting me now he probably was like fuck it for sure yeah, for sure um well, i guess you guys get it straight you know whatever i just block nah, my but father. they gotta fix that though either way that's i feel like they gotta fix that i just block my father <laughs> for the 50th time but i mean it this time and i'm not unblocking him i would tell y'all what happened on the pod but i'm not i shouldn't right should i Nah, cause cause we ain't gonna do the whole dad bashing right okay, now. My dad's a piece of shit. Let's move on. Um, I have a couple of dark sides of the DM. Um, hold on. This one was from Twitter. I usually ignore my Twitter ones, but I'm gonna address it today because I want to help you guys out. Um, what's good, Mona? I love your podcast and you and Phelps' relationship. My brother snuck me while I was holding the air fryer in the shoebox, loading the truck. My mom wants me to press charges because he's on probation. He needs to be taught a lesson. I want to bust his head open to, with a tire iron and never fuck with him again. What are y'all thoughts? Love y'all. Be safe. And I Yo, also wanted to read this one because back. she wants to know what Phelps thinks. Go back to the. She- Let's start over. I just want to try to get it again. Where's the context? What's good, Mona? 
I love your podcast and you and Phelps' relationship. My brother snuck me while I was holding the air fryer in the shoebox loading the truck. My mom wants me to press charges because he's on probation. He needs to be taught a lesson. This is in all caps. I want to bust his head open with a tire iron and never fuck with him again. What are y'all thoughts? Love y'all. Be safe. First question. Half brother or all the way brother? Y'all got the same mom or the same dad or both? Y'all got the same mother. Bust him in the head with... Like a shoebox, not a tire iron. Because tire iron, you gonna to open that to the white meat. You don't really wanna open it to the white meat, do you? It's t- because all right. Goodness. So this is the thing. So, you know me getting him off rip. Why? Why are we talking about it now? So basically, what you should have pulled the air pussy. fryer well, after he snuck you. The air fryer was supposed to come out the box. This the thing though. Guess what I thought? Nigga can't fight. That's why you ask him on her. You know what I mean? And a lot of the air if you could fight, you'd already threw your hands up when you got hit. And a lot of the air fires got the hand. Like you could you if you moving, you got wild items to get at him with. You got right, you got a whole So in Remember true the Phelps wrestling fashion, when they used to pull shit out from it's under too the ring? Late and you're a loser. <laughs> yeah. And if you it, lost that one. Yeah. And, and and it's like the context of that is weird. Definitely. Why are we calling the cops if he on probation? He's gonna go back to jail. The con- just bust what did his you head do open. to get snuck? That's why I said the context is She just weird. rather bust his head open. It's like, oh, my brother. That, that, but see, you know what? You got to be careful with people like that because that's that one-sided story shit. Like, ain't no nigga that's in trouble just going to punch you for no reason unless but he retarded. But mommy is on his side. So, unless mommy hates the other son. That's what it is. Y'all got different dads. She don't like one of y'all because mm. of the dad. It all just came clear. Yeah, you were supposed to get at him get out right there, then family. and there. That was supposed to be a fight. This Try- much is for the nigga that snuck somebody. You tired of being treated like the black sheep? Leave them alone. They don't like you because of who your father is. <laughs> that was easy. That's All right. Wild. One more. Hey, Mona. First off, I love you so much. I tell everyone to support you. You're really such an inspiration. I have quite a dilemma on my hands and would like some advice if possible. First off, way too long. I don't need that intro. What's up, Mona? Get to the point. I keep telling you I'm not going to listen. You see this? My whole cell phone is covered in your, li- in your words. It's too much. Head to toe. I can read now, so I'm good. Oh, God. I've been with my boyfriend for almost five years. He's 29 and I'm 25 for reference. He's my best friend, and I really believe we're soulmates. We have had our ups and downs in a few... Let me see. We have had our ups and downs, and a, a few months ago, we decided to take a break. I don't know why y'all bitches play them breaks and them niggas got dicks. We got back on good terms, and we recently found out the woman he entertained during our break, let me close it, is pregnant. Pregnant, right. With twins. Mm. Double travel. And she intends on keeping them. Of course she does, bitch. She went that nigga back. You done took him after the break, and now she can't get him no more. <laughs> Come over here, Rodney. I'm pregnant. Mm. Um, he's only known her for three weeks. What a slut your man is. Well, damn. I'm devastated, Mona, and I'm hurt in my... Hurt lies in the fact that we've had five miscarriages together. This shit gets worse and worse. Mm. Sound like a Tyler All of Perry my movie, pregnancies don't it? Are, were planned and we're having a family together. Has always been important to us. I also found out he was also planning on proposing to me soon, but this news has me in shambles. I love him dearly, but I don't think I'll be able to get past this. Your advice would mean a lot. Okay. That's definitely a Tyler Perry movie. Number one. If... This, y'all not gonna like people never uh, listen <laughs> if you don't think if those miscarriages if you if you're tired of trying then maybe the twins aren't a bad thing because you still could be a mom hmm. and you call me a contrarian that Wow. I'm serious. If she really can't carry and she loves him like she said, that's his best friend, he fucked up. That's the thing. When you're in a relationship with a motherfucker, it's, it's, I mean, I know it's marriage, it's, you know, for death doors part or whatever, but shit going to happen. So if he would have came to you and told you, I fucked this girl in the break, and she wouldn't have came out for four years and said she had a baby, then what? You still knew this motherfucker was fucking on the break. Miss Y'all fi- had a break. Misfiring at the crib and then going outside for three weeks and getting somebody pregnant. It's crazy. That's wild. With twi- that's double, d- how double can he help that his nut make two kids, Gary? She probably all fucked up in the head. Damn. So what y'all think she should leave him? I didn't know you. Dude, with the heart, t- oh, man. Listen, let me she tell you that nigga for years. I didn't know you were such an optimist. People, that is crazy. Listen, I'm not even saying I'm an optimist. <laughs> this is what I'm saying. If I, I know felt where she like, coming from. if my biological clock was ticking, and I'm like, and the doctors are telling me I can't have, and then I keep having miscarriages, and this motherfucker about to have two babies, and he want to get married. 
We about to have two babies. And she didn't say that he was like a bad person. Did nothing wrong. She literally said we went on a we break. On he a fucked break. somebody else, got him pregnant. It wasn't like he was whooping her ass. I or doing know nothing. this girl don't want me to tell her to leave him because she loves him. And that's, that's her friend and her man. That's what I was gonna say. When you, man, listen, follow your heart. Fuck that. Because if, if 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 sometimes motherfucker, she, you'll be sick. You feel me sitting there thinking like, well, damn, it might not have been that bad helping. Re-. Like, now, didn't that happen to? Wasn't that Gabriel Union situation or am I lying? I don't remember. With Dwayne what? Wade, didn't he get... Uh, he got somebody pregnant he did on a break. Well, yeah, on a break, I think, right? Yeah, I believe so. Man, I mean, listen. that's why I don't get the break thing. Like, yeah, we could break. Go ahead and take a shit. <laughs> like, you ain't... We ain't I ain't never took a break with no nigga. <laughs> break where? Where you going? You going to bed? You laying <laughs> down, nigga? <laughs> break from what? Who? Who the fuck gonna take the trash out? We take a break. Motherfucker, you don't want me to take. You don't want me to take. I'll come back pregnant, motherfucker. <laughs> and you know it, Phelps. Put me on a break. I'm fertile, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, coming back pregnant on your nigga as well. You shouldn't ask for a break, That's Rodney. Wild. Um, yeah. So, I'll come back. Now, that's another thing. What if the baby mom is one of them ratchet ass? I don't want that bitch for my motherfucking kids. You getting that bitch. Fuck that bitch. You can't see my it's kids. It's never worth that. Look at the hair. Can we please give Jerry some love? Look at the bounds. Ain't no tracks. This ain't no taping. Or this me. Phelps gonna be pulling it later. Ain't you daddy? I had a man DM me the other day and was like, Phelps is mine. Bitch, what? Phelps is mine. Why would you say that? That's my answer. <laughs> At least he said you make him throw up in his mouth. I like that one better. Phelps, don't be like that. Okay, let's check the voicemail. My bad, my bad. You don't be like that. That was wild, though. Well, men, it's fine if you lust off Phelps, but he only wants my pussy. Mm. Don't you're just remember giving my, out all types of unnecessary green lights. Don't remember my mom had um no. Remember my mom came on the show and said pussy and Dre was like <laughs> Okay, y'all ready? So hey, the champagne's from New Orleans. I'm twenty seven. Um I was messing with this dude, put in my I'm in a relationship and we was messing for two whole years. Then I found out a year later, this nigga got a whole girlfriend. Time passed. They moving together. Now this nigga getting married. Like, I really feel some type of way. So I sent the girlfriend all the messages that he had. And I don't feel bad about it. Like, he got this bitch naked. He fucking Prince Charming. Bitch, you is a dog. And you freaky, too. She so now, what? am I wrong or... You know you wrong, first of all, but I ain't get the beginning. Hey, the champagne's from New Orleans. I'm 27. Your mother named you Champagne? I knew a girl named Champagne. Went to high school with a girl named Champagne. Mm. That's worse than Alizé. <laughs> um, I was messing with this dude. Put in my... I'm in a relationship. And... Oh, I hear that part. We was messing for two whole years. Then I found out a year later, this nigga got a whole girlfriend. This is so she was cheating on her nigga with him. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> basically. That you was you was in regular like. That's regular. You see what I'm saying? What the, the fuck? What happened? Her nigga not really doing what my man on the side was doing. You feel me? <laughs> my man on the side was putting his back I ain't into gonna it. Lie, sis, you sound jealous because that's yeah, crazy. She missing him. Just That's say sad. you missed a nigga. But even not even jealous like you miss him. You sound jealous like you just envious that he's getting married and he got that and she got a husband, you know, because the one you with ain't even said nothing. Have you ever done that? Like sent messages on a situation or blew up a situation? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I did. And this is like a, this wasn't even that long ago. Uh, yeah, um, I, I would I would that's why I wanna hear you know how you, yeah, yeah, I would, I wanna know how you going. <laughs> A guy, listen, a guy tried to talk to me. He had been trying to talk to me for a little while. He had proved how many messages he sent me or whatever. I go out with him. I'm feeling him. But he's saying all the right things, that type nigga. And this is after the little fame shit, too. 
So he's doing a little bit of shit that seemed like he kind of clout chasey, but I can't really call it. But one thing he would do all the time is he would make up these arguments. Like, we would have a great day, and then he would just get mad at me for something weird and storm up. I just need time to myself, okay? So that's, I always was thinking, like, why do he keep doing that? Mind you, I'm still fucked up by my ex. So when he would come around, nigga, I wasn't ready to talk to you anyway. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it was like he was doing that for no reason because I didn't want to be able under him every day anyway because I was still like hoping the ex shit that work out. I'm talking about literally, I've been on the phone with him like, oh, my ex trying to kick the door in. I got to call you back. Like he knew stuff was going on, you know. Mm -hmm. Long story short, he... Okay, he answered the phone. He called me. Why you being weird to me? I know I told that story before. Okay, and I was like, oh, that's it. So when he, he dropped me off, I made him drop me off at Juice House because I didn't want him to know whatever where I lived mm -hmm. or something, and because I never let him know where I lived. And then I kissed him like on his cheek, like all right. And I remember patting his chest, like I'm gonna see you, babe. Like the lady, like don't even, you know. Mm -hmm. And I blocked him. So he called me on these different numbers and whatever. And I'm like, look, I ain't answering. The next day was like his birthday or something, and. A girl that I knew um, posted, it's my man's birthday, something, something, something. He acting weird, da, 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 da. And I just typed his name and said, said, and she said, how you know him? Yeah. So. Oh, no, I ain't know about this. I was thinking about another situation where oh, you, you got multiple shit. Yo. It's funny when Mona hit this little guilty smile. Like, she. <laughs> Because I want to say, no, I don't do stuff like that. But this is the thing, y'all. It's very strange. The oh. girl and me would get compared to each other sometimes. She was like the watered-down college version of me. Real outspoken, you know. And I feel like he was trying to talk to me so long he undergot us something that was like me. We didn't look nothing like, but our, our, our personalities were similar. Mm -hmm. I feel like when I answered him back, he had already been fucking with her, you know? So it was like, damn, I ain't gonna miss my chance. I'm gonna try to talk to her. But all he had to do was be honest because I remember when I first met him, I was like, look, I'm not looking for a relationship. I just want to fucking get rich with a nigga. I used to say it all the time. And back when I was half-assed thinking I was gonna be dating. So it was like the fact that it was like, you got me my man girl. He's showing me where the house at, where the safe at. You. Showing me this. You showed me where your mom live at and all that. She told me about everybody. She giving y'all some watered down shit. The shit that she, I'm, and we not gonna go into it, but the shit that she oh, was really going fuck through, no. you know, all, yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 no, Nikki, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was. Um, we but, almost we almost but, missed a couple episodes behind that one. Did I send? Did I send messages? <laughs> I ain't sent no messages. You though. was on the line, niggas. The we same was on the line, but I ain't sent no messages though. That's that's what the question was, folks. I'm just saying I you didn't blew send up messages. The situation right? though, like. She 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 made she the motherfuckers was coming to each other as women. How about that? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> However, whether it's a whether it's on a message or a pigeon, motherfucker. That's a lie. <laughs> that, you know why that's a lie? Because I didn't come to know my ass woman. I, my first thing was like, I'll kill you, bitch. So when did I act like a woman? <laughs> so, I you, did, so you came I, as a she tough... She might have came as a woman. I came as a gorilla. So she came as a bitch woman and Boy, you came as a tough one. That's I all. I was like... a, bitch, a bitch said, don't call me white girl. I said, fuck that shit, <laughs> bitch. The fuck you doing call this motherfucking phone? I swear to God, I faced on that bitch. She was like... Oh my God, it's you. I was like, fuck you, bitch. <laughs> she was in the house curled up for days behind that one. I was a little upset. Fuck you, fellas. I don't even know. Come on, I hate him. Don't you know what not to say on the show, you fucking asshole? <laughs> but that's still some show. Let me some go back to the about. first story, though. <laughs> I tell both of them, but listen, so um, I it was stuff like me and her wasn't talking, right? Like we we was cool, we didn't fall out, but it was like she started to like DM me more and message me more when I started messing with him. So I feel like she felt it. Something about it felt it because I already caught him. Put me, he put me his close friends. I caught him. So it was like somebody in the city could have told her, you know what I mean? Because she kept like saying little shit to me. And even with the birthday thing, I remember commenting, "That's crazy" or something. And then she said something, and then that's when I put his name. So I was like, "Look," and I called her, and I just I'm like, "Look, listen, this is what's going on." I was messing with him for this amount of time. I didn't know you existed, but I'm letting you know. Da -da -da. And she kept like arguing with me, like not arguing, but she didn't believe it. Like I had to say exactly where the house was. And it's like, she's like, well, nobody goes to the house. No, I'm like, well, bitch, you go to address. And this is <laughs> what the key look like. And this, you know what I mean? And, um, and I was just like, look, do me one favor. I said, if you really want to fuck with him, you can, cause I'll never talk to him again. Like I'm totally turned off by that whole thing. I said, but if you are going to fuck with him or whatever, either way, can you just not put me in it? You know, just say you found out another way. Mm. 
Boy, this boy called off 54. I'm going to kill you. <laughs> you trying to ruin my life, bitch. We wasn't messing with y'all. I'm like, it was yesterday. You dropped me on. It was just two days ago. Okay. I always talk about him because I know he watches and I want you to know. You were so disgusting without a shirt on with your little nasty ass belly and them long ass, them big lumps on the back of your back, them titties on the bottom of your back. Mm. <laughs> You're your hairy ass self. <laughs> Your little short, hairy ass. You like a little possum. <laughs> short, hairy possum ass nigga. Lying ass bitch. <sighs> okay. Y'all know how to pick me. Okay, for Phelps trying to put me out there. Yes, I did bug the fuck out. I don't want to go too far yeah, into it. Details. But it started with a, somebody said something to me first. <laughs> <laughs> And I had a lapse of judgment, and I FaceTimed a bitch 37 times. Lapse of judgment, that's a good job. 34 times. And I did have a stomach ache after, and then went was away. Was it answering my phone calls? I'm into this podcast on this. I, <laughs> I want to, first of all, I want to thank Phelps for joining us and being such a good help up until this far. He's moving on to better things. <laughs> um, congratulations. Word, I got glasses now, you feel me? Listen, one more thing before I go, y'all. A lot of y'all are working out and trying to be positive and doing the right thing for a new year. And I see all these hateful ass messages. Why you got to live for the new year? Why you got to And you was going to change it. It's been plenty of times that I use the new year to just start things new. And I've really kept up with them and shit. And I have some resolutions. I won't, I don't share them. I don't believe in sharing certain things. Like I just think when you pushing towards stuff, it's too much the evil eye, like the Muslims say. But you know, people, you know, put that negative energy on you. You don't have to announce all of it, but stay positive, girl. Put that donut down. It's only the third. When you get older though, don't your don't your birthday feel more like a new year than the like January first? Kind of. Or me. That's me. Kinda, but I'm big on numbers. So that changed from twenty two to twenty three. It feels like why not? Okay. Something gotta give. Or the stuff that at least that you were dragging about. Cause it's like with me, I'm a procrastinator. So it's stuff I be needing to do, meaning to do. So I'm big into like the you know, and even if let's say you start the gym and you stop in March, bitch, you just did three months of working out that you wouldn't do last year. That you wouldn't have be done. Be positive. Did y'all watch me on Joe Biden's podcast? I didn't, I must say. I killed that shit. I ain't watch it, but I was there. Um wanna manifest anything? Yeah, I do. I wanna manifest me keeping my word to myself for the big things I want to pop off this year. I'm gonna make happen this year. Um, and I also want to manifest some live shows um, and just connecting more with you guys because I really love you guys a lot. And I really wanted one of y'all to make me a year, like to put my year on one little video. Y'all ain't real fans because nobody did it. You manifest anything else? No? All right. We're done. You answered it for me. Watch the YouTube. Click on me. Follow me. Manifest more stuff. Just got to do more. That's all. That's my manifestation more. Do y'all like my bang? Gary did it. They can't. They, they not. They can't see it till Wednesday. Anyway. Whatever, Phelps. We out. <laughs>